This is another weird thing that I was thinking about. The director unsuccessfully argued in court that the excrement was actually chocolate ice cream. Oh yeah, you know way too much about me. If they had cat videos, they'd probably have more horns. Somebody listening right now is offended and turned off Scramble the Egg. That's the hill I will die on. I respect it. Listen, that escalated gonna... quickly though. <laughs> By the way, it's called Scrambled the Eggs. Yikes. Oh, funny. They were going to petition in BC for a while to allow liquor on the beaches because you weren't allowed to drink on the beach in Vancouver. Oh, really? Yeah, are you still not? I don't think you are. Like everybody That's would drink lame. at Rec Beach. You should beach. be allowed to drink on a beach. Yeah, yeah like. and like I think it was I think it was the NDP guy that was just like, well, if people can't police themselves with alcohol, then like, what's wrong with us as a society? Yeah. Like, if you can't yeah. behave yourself and get a little drunk on the beach, like, <laughs> yeah, if you can't just act cool for a minute, yeah, just like, be cool about come it, come on, dude. You could drink at Rec Beach. Well, no, well, you couldn't, but people did. Yeah. And ate a lot of mushrooms. <laughs> I bought mushrooms from a guy named Ninja there. <laughs> a guy named Ninja. He's like, my name's Ninja. Do you want some mushrooms? I'm like, sure. So that funny. sounds good. <laughs> Was he what, the dude from the Antwerp? Have you ever heard of that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it wasn't Ninja. him, but yeah, that is. He could be in it. He could have been in it. <laughs> just a yeah. weird dude. But, he's, but he was naked. Like, that's the weird thing. Is It's just like this naked dude walks up to you and he's like, <laughs> his <laughs> dick is hanging I'm in your Ninja. face. He said, my name's Ninja. Can I, can I interest you in a chocolate with mushrooms? Where did he keep the mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> he had a little satchel. You got to have a satchel. Make it safe is for it? a satchel. You got to have a satchel if you're selling on a nude yeah, beach. That's true. <laughs> Who's like, I can't stand underwear, but this fanny pack actually isn't that uncomfortable at all. <laughs> I keep all my things in it. <laughs> like, nudists still wear have shorts. keys. Yeah, shorts. nudists have to carry stuff too. That's the truth. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if a fanny pack was a big seller in the nudist community. It must be. Yeah, like where else are you going to carry Probably stuff? Probably one of those upper ones, though, because yeah, I, I imagine they want their... Drug dealers wear them across their chests now? Yeah. That's, oh, that's yeah. Is that only it, for drug dealers? I don't know. Danny Martinello has been doing it, so... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah it's for drug it's dealers the cool, it's, it's the cool, cool thing to people. do now yeah. oh cool people it's now cool people. <laughs> <laughs> that's what we call drug dealers in grade 11 uh, cool I think <laughs> <laughs> there's always drug deals going down in my neighborhood <laughs> There's yeah, always you, you always where do you live? On the, on the I live in part. Boyle Street. I'm the, oh, there you yeah, go. I'm the queen of Boyle Street and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Real Housewives, Real Housewives of, Boyle of Boyle Street. Boyle Street. That's our podcast crossover. <laughs> yeah. No, oh but God. like uh, people will do it all the t- time. And when I first moved, it was worse. Like there, like you'll see people get into a car. Like we all know how drug deals yeah. work. Yeah. You get in a car. Well, let's go for a drive, and then they drop you right back. Like like that doesn't look suspicious at all. <laughs> yeah. I saw a guy getting hit in his car once from a hooker. That's we hilarious. we used to have way more hookers. Man. But that, that's kind of calmed down a bit in my neighborhood, at least. I don't know. I don't know Man. where the hookers went, but they're I still know. around. I would imagine. Maybe they aren't they in hibernation for the winter? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the bears. I bet you there's a new <laughs> app. There's probably a new like Uber for hookers now. Oh, there's gotta be. <laughs> like, oh, for like, sure. And if there is, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's Tinder. It. Like, <laughs> it's <laughs> a good chance. I'm pretty sure it's Tinder too. That's true. It's a good chance. Tinder. I've with a couple strippers on Tinder that are just like are clearly matching with everyone. And they just like, want to hook up, or they want them to come to their they shows. They want you to. They want to sell you pictures of them oh, naked. They're like, I add s- my Snapchat, and then they're like, oh. oh don't answer a lot here hit me up on ig oh, direct okay. message and then their thing and it's like, i right, used to yeah, use tinder good. for like getting people out to shows men out to shows <laughs> and i used it at, for air as airbnb one time <laughs> <laughs> you're using it to get people out to shows same same yeah 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 i even would put show posters on sometimes they'd take them down sometimes they'd say, you can't post it i'm like that's my life that's that, who i that's am my face on there, i just want people to know who i am <laughs> I got t- I got my Tinder taken down because I put a picture of me as a baby and they're like you can't have just a baby as your profile oh picture. My God. You know what? That's sexist because women do that. It's the it's the craziest thing. They'll they'll post pictures of like themselves as their, children. Their, their young children as the like just in one of the their pictures kids and it's or like, themselves Yo. as no, a kid. Yeah, no, but their you, kids. But that's, oh, that's the thing. Awful. It was it was, it was me oh, it was as, you a as a kid. And they're okay. like, you can't, you can't be like, look, you can't have sex with this baby. You don't look like a baby anyone anymore. that has a picture of themselves with their child on a, a dating app is trash. Trash. Period. I don't care who you. <laughs> you're trash. trash. Do that's not the grossest. put children in your tinder photos yeah that's horrifying maybe your bumble photos maybe <laughs> yeah bumble's maybe. a bit more a uh, bumble's I, a bit more classy I, I love how people are like oh like yeah one is like gross and one's classy and like yeah. everyone's on both so it's yeah. like shut the fuck is plenty of fish still a thing probably is I it i think it's around but i think it's like one of those 
That's it's, the one that was always like, Ugh, that's yeah, where yeah, you want to meet that, someone who's going to murder you one day. Yeah, that was that was a little bit before my time, yeah. I think. I get it. I'm that, old. I Fuck feel, you guys. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, no, like, I, I, there, there's still, like, uh, there, I think older people still use it. I think it's around, like, how Nexopia or how, like, Napster is still around. It's like, yeah, yeah you can go it's, to the website. Yeah, no and, like, it, it's functional. But no one will go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I tried that once. It was awful. No. Uh, you guys, well... I remember when Yahoo Chat was how you met people. <laughs> <laughs> Yahoo Chat. Oh yeah. Yeah, yo, I was talking to uh, someone. Your Cyber Monday joke was. It's uh, true. I, I remember those. Cybering. Yeah. Was what like, a horrifying you, you, you time. <laughs> the early two thousands were. <laughs> what is what is cybering? Well, uh, you you <laughs> pretend that you were. Ma- I don't know. Guys probably were <laughs> masturbating, but I would always be like, "Oh yeah, I'm doing this right yeah. now." I'm like, I'm not gonna fucking masturbate and type at the same time. Now kids are doing like FaceTiming. Probably yeah, now it's easier that. for kids. These days, now they can just gross. they can they can just look at each other and masturbate. Yeah. Show me. We had to use our imagination. Sometimes, <laughs> sometimes a different font. It was ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, Yahoo Chat. Like whenever you Please say Yahoo yeah, Chat to someone, sense. most people don't say, "Oh, I met my good friends." Are like, "No, I I met a few people and I gave them blowjobs." <laughs> 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 That's so funny. <laughs> I was chatting with some I was chatting with a girl like on Bumble the other day and we got into that somehow and she put like ASL as like a joke. Oh yeah 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 yeah. <laughs> Which for those of you who don't understand means age, sex, location. Yeah, for Man. those of you that don't understand, what a fuck weird you. Time. I haven't thought of that in a long oh time. Oh yeah, well you, and then yo, the ASL. beginning of the, the birth of the internet was a weird, weird so thing. So weird. Like yeah, when we first God. got the internet it was because my mom had it at work, she worked for the government, and I would go in and I would Google recipes for fast food food like you know like you know, <laughs> how to make a Big Mac at home or I would or I would um, look up scripts and just read them like I'd look up oh. all a bunch of Seinfeld scripts and read yeah, them yeah, so yeah. it's like I guess that was binge watching before <laughs> you could watch it me and my friend, read scripts me and my friends used to print off pictures of like our favorite like cartoons yeah. and then like trace them with like tracing paper and then like oh, color yeah, them yeah, in yeah. and shit we're like making our own coloring books Activities. like that's what we used the yeah. internet for yeah now you can just get an app where you i have this coloring app that's very soothing and it's just like a color by numbers you just tap it and it oh, colors right. it yeah. makes me feel like an artist yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a bob ross painting at the end you're like look what i did I had a tree. did, so did you ever get into the like adult coloring books Adult coloring books. Yeah, that's that's, that's like not a pornographic. Oh, no, okay. No, no, yeah, I was like, I was like, like a bunch of dicks and shit. No. Oh. <laughs> 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 Just hand <laughs> tie. numbers. I mean, like, I would think they probably have them. Oh, I'm sure they exist. I, yeah. I remember, like, I used to see them at like uh, sex stores. Those like doodle pads, and it would be a man, and you could draw whatever <laughs> penis you wanted on him, or a girl, and you could draw whatever. It's t- always <laughs> at the back of Spencer's. It's like cheap. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I never got. Well, I, maybe I, I think I got putty. one or two. Coloring is very soothing. Yeah, I yeah. never. It does uh, feel nice, especially now that I can color inside the lines fully. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's crazy, yo! It's annoying to me that some people are like good at coloring. Yeah, You're like how did yeah. you know that it would be darker red in that spot and to push harder with the pencil <laughs> to like? My mom's one of those people. She's really good at, like crosswords and like and coloring. coloring and oh stuff. And I'm like, what are you? Are you Asian? What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because only Asians know how to color. You're hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> Just making up stereotypes really here good on at the calligraphy. Scramble DX podcast. <laughs> really good at calligraphy and crosswords and mathematics. They're good with their hands. And origami and making phones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing lots of different <laughs> Doing lots of different things. <laughs> Asians are very talented. I remember I worked at a... Uh, <laughs> they <laughs> are. They're the... They're gonna. I love how we. I love how when white people start talking about stuff after they think maybe I said something racist, and then they're like, "I really love Asians." Yeah, you know, <laughs> great, great food, dude. I, it's the wrong thing. <laughs> we had, this I had some sushi for dinner tonight. <laughs> to so, be honest, yeah. it, was, this, it sweater, was a, this sweater made in China. <laughs> it was an Edmonton roll from Safeway. It had fried chicken in it, but it was sushi. <laughs> an Edmonton roll. <laughs> That's my favorite. There's like restaurants that have Alberta rolls and there's like beef in it for like yeah, for the like for the cowboy beef. that won't eat. I'm not eating yeah. f- raw fish. Nice. What? I'll oh put my some God. cucumber and beef and I'll eat it. I remember when like <laughs> when like sushi was like in the in the, like the 
late 80s and 90s and it was it wasn't popular or anything it was just mm-hmm. like cool people that wore black turtlenecks and slicked their hair back wore <laughs> <laughs> like you remember on degrassi when like uh what was that what was this lucy do you guys did you no. i'm too you're too young for this but there was a character <laughs> named lucy and her parents were business people and she never saw them but oh, like boy. she would always have sushi and everyone would be like bro she goes you just have to be educated and cultured to eat sushi <laughs> <laughs> and now any jackhammer is doing it oh, <laughs> now any rig big I, like, I want some Alberta <laughs> rolls yeah. you guys yeah. want to go to cactus it's happy hour cactus does it's reverse happy hour cactus has sushi now my boyfriend <laughs> works oh, I should, I, who cares but it's good it's good yeah. shit their, their sushi's good it's cactus got like it's great actually i don't know why i don't I'm know if it's great but it's good like it. <laughs> it's one of those restaurants yeah, yeah. We went to Earl's last night and it was like 16, no, $12 pitchers. Nice. That's sick. <laughs> Fuck the food and the terrible service, but the yeah. <laughs> Earl's is the worst out of all of them for service. Really? Oh, but they're waitress. Wow. I'm sorry if you're an Earl's waitress, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know, their criteria is not based on service. I get, well, I don't think, no, it's all about hiring for looks, but we had a <laughs> server yesterday and she was just like, she came once and then she didn't come for 20 minutes and then she's like, Oh, I just looked over and you looked like you were having fun. I didn't want to interrupt. I'm like, bullshit, bitch. You didn't come over because you were sitting in the back talking to a dishwasher. (laughs) (laughs) Aim higher. Yeah. And then Adam (laughs) ordered something else and she comes to the table 20 minutes after we order. She's like, I have to be honest. I didn't put it in. (laughs) (laughs) It's just like, okay. Like, I just, yeah. You can't expect good service from a place that hires based off of looks. It's just not. It's just not a thing. <laughs> there are some that are great. There are some very pretty, talented hey, servers out there. Not all hot chicks. Yeah. Suck okay. at serving. <laughs> not all hot chicks, man. But if you're some not a hot very chick gifted. and you're a bad server, you're not going to have a long <laughs> oh, serving career. You got to work no. double hard. If you are not hot, you have to be a good damn server. Yes. To make these guys forget that <laughs> they don't want to <laughs> fuck you. I want my water <laughs> overflowing. <laughs> <laughs> it's always full it's always full <laughs> we used to go to smiley's. smiley's you remember smiley's buffet the chinese restaurant buffet I, <laughs> we used to go to smiley's? all happy oh but that's not buffet that's like no, sit down yeah but there was one in the west end called smiley's and if you went there your water would never be empty because they had like usually four children on staff <laughs> that would just stand there with water and as soon as it looked like it was empty they come over and fill it up like we used to play a game like we would play a game like if if we would all put five dollars in the middle of anybody's water was left empty for any second they would get it and nobody ever won it nobody because those kids were like they were like uh, tennis kids you know when they go pick up the yeah, balls yeah, yeah. And, but there was water they were just like watching everything they were like, you couldn't yes you could even that. like chug it and put it down and be empty and they'd already be standing there like would you put your water down so i can fill it please that's the thing about child crazy. labor yeah like they're pretty good workers <laughs> they're motivated they're pr- baby. pretty good little workers i love so. when i see kids that shouldn't be working somewhere working somewhere oh, that's yeah. the best yeah, <laughs> that's the best like a, yeah, like a hot family, dog yeah. cart and there's like the little kids like squirting he's like what condiments do you want and you're like nice yeah. <laughs> Like you're not getting paid, are you? <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get allowance for, right? It's like seven bucks a week. <laughs> you just go into a bar and some kid's bartending. Like, hey, we're short staffed. He's got to earn his keep. He's got his pro serve. We lied on the He's application. Got- <laughs> <laughs> He's been watching us drink for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've oh seen more God. than a couple kids in like small towns working yeah. at their parents' restaurants yeah. in the back. And those kids are probably better than any kid that didn't work. Like I started working, oh, I was sure. like probably 12 babysitting, but... Kids that never, I know kids that didn't like, I never had a job till I was like 20. I'm like, how is that possible? Yeah, like, what would you do? Like, Wait, do you think about people who have been in school for like 10 years? Yeah. Like, do like doing their masters and all this stuff, and then they come out and, it, yeah. and they have to adjust to like working life. And it's a, because everyone else has been working for that 10 Don't years. Don't we get summers off? Yeah. Yeah. Like, what's happening? <laughs> <laughs> that's so funny. Yeah, that's fucked up. Like, I don't. If you haven't have a job in your adult life for at least a year at a time, that's crazy. Yeah. And you have to work some shitty jobs. So yes. So you like gain some perspective. Yeah. Yeah. Like you can, when, when you see people treat servers bad, you're oh, just like, oh, you've never. You've you know. never worked in the service industry. <laughs> yeah. I love when you get people that worked in the service industry because first of all, they stack their dishes for you. Yeah. That's the that's best. That's the nicest. You, whenever you walk over and everything's stacked in a nice pile, you're like, this is yeah. a server. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, sorry, I like- Thank you. I like when people try, but they like really fuck it up and it's just yeah. like super unbalanced. <laughs> like, 
I'm actually have to make a few trips on this one, guys. <laughs> I might just drop these all over the place. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. This fork falls. You're like, why did I have to walk all the way from the fifties? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So this is our Christmas episode, I guess. Really? Uh, is it? I mean, it's our last episode before, then probably for the year. Oh, like, I'm the final episode of the year. Yeah, take yep. that. And right on um, the high note, suckers. Hooray yeah. 2019. <laughs> <laughs> I went back to back comedians. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I love how every, at the end of every year, people are like, this year suck, but to, next year's the year. And then, it's, and then it's the same thing. It's like, oh, so you thought this year, but it wasn't. This year was worse than you thought it was going to be. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you were so optimistic about it. Yeah. Look at the shit dumpster yeah. fire that oh, ended yeah, up. Next one's going to be good. Well, it's a different decade. Yeah. So we're yeah, starting yeah, yeah. from scratch because there's some kind of meaning to that. You know? <laughs> we're back over. Oh, yeah. We're jumping a decade. The tomorrows are going to be different than these tomorrows are have been. Well, they're going to have to come up with a new channel on the radio because, like, what they had the, the like, on Sirius, they have Pop 2K, so that's yeah. the 2000s. Oh, yeah, that's right. So, what's going to be the 10s? 20 teens the 20 teens, 20 teens. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yo it's weird that you're going to specify which 20s you're talking about yeah because how yeah. do you do that like because at least in the 19s it was like 20s 30s 40s 50s yeah. but you can't do that now well, it's too close to them yeah you're like yeah. yep in the 20s you're like which one yeah <laughs> these ones or those ones yeah that's so confusing <laughs> <laughs> oh my god numbers <laughs> <laughs> 21 I mean you start just being like yeah back in 21 like, yeah it's gonna be weird oh my god that's horror it's I can't believe I'm alive yeah <laughs> dude I tried to write this bit about how like there's no point in time traveling because this is the best one like we nailed yeah. it this is yeah. the only one we saw the birth of technology but like you know the AIs haven't taken yeah, yeah, over yeah, yet yeah, yeah, yeah. And like also, but we got to have everything on demand automatically. Like, do you know how shitty it was like 30 years ago? Yeah, time traveling to the future would be tight. Somebody is going to like be listening to this 100 years from now in their little living pod that yeah. they got for free from the government. And they'll be like, this guy has no idea. It's great now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to do shit. We're just going to be living in little beans and trees. Yeah. You don't have to have anything. Trees. It'll be so fun. I can't wait. I know. Yeah. So, do you think there'll relaxing. be a uniform at some point in our world? A uniform? You know how like, you always watch those yeah. like the Hunger Games, they all wear a certain look? No. Like, mm -hmm. No. No? No. <laughs> Just I, a I fanny think... pack and that's it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the uniform. That's my AI. future. That's my future. <laughs> <laughs> Just, Just a fanny, fanny pack. pack. Mushrooms. <laughs> Where do you keep the mushrooms? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Just like the perfect synthetic drug. Just oh, I bet you drugs pack. are going to get real good in a few years. Yeah. We're, like uh, 20 years from now, it's going to be way better. Because like 20... Like weed and stuff twenty years ago compared to now, mm -hmm. very very different. Yeah, I want to yeah. stay alive just for the better drugs. Yeah, yeah. Well, even like performance enhancing drugs. Like now that we understand like the science of the body better, they're really figuring out how to like not have the bad side effects and yeah. just like increase the mm -hmm. things we're trying to do. Yeah, I think it's not long until someone is like, okay, in this league of whatever sport. You can take whatever. They should have like a steroids league. I somebody's gonna somebody's gonna want to so try and push it. Some evil motherfucker. I think as long Vince as Vince McMahon is know. starting a football league next With year. The XFL. Well, yeah, prob eventually. Oh, I mean, the WWE has steroids. Yeah. Like everyone knows that, but yeah. it's like but scripted. The, so that's it's not really it's a, but dude. It, it, no, it, it'd be sick if there was a place that was just like, all right. Like, what if they had American? You're gonna be them? the XFL. What if they had yeah. American Ninja Warrior and you could, you had to be on some sort of an? Can you imagine watching <laughs> oh. people like on enhancements on? <laughs> like, it'd be crazy. Just, they should do UFC on, like, where... Adderall and steroids oh, combined. <laughs> like, yeah, let's could, go, baby. Can you do Adderall and do Jeopardy? Because I think that would help. Mm. Would they do they drug test on Jeopardy? <laughs> Are there performance enhancing drugs? We, we should get like a UFC where one person is on performance enhancing yeah. drugs and the other is on hallucinogens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That'd be interesting. I think like one guy's got meth strength and the other guy's got steroid strength. Meth strength. Yeah. <laughs> Ripping the cage off the fucking... <laughs> That's more... <laughs> throwing the octagon. <laughs> Speaking of meth, I was out front of the Safeway <laughs> before Ooh. I came here and these people were fighting like this. It was a drunk panhandler fighting a dude. I didn't see what started it all, oh. but like the... the the he the guy goes you're fucking drunk get out of my face and he goes oh, oh. and then the guy goes get out of my face and he shoves him and he's like that's assault that's uh. assault <laughs> like 
Oh my god! It was oh like god. I, I was think just. It is. Oh, it's so that was such an Edmonton moment and not a good Edmonton moment. I was just like, then we came out and someone had called the cops. I'm like, seriously, the police are here. Yeah. That's assault. That's assault. Anybody that screams gonna... that's assault is a piece of shit pussy. <laughs> <laughs> if you can scream, I've been assaulted. Please, help. yeah, you weren't really. You're assaulted. not being assaulted. Yeah. Right? yeah oh that's my probably god. A fair assessment. Please god. assist me. I have been assaulted. <laughs> Uh, that doesn't add up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yo, my buddy is a police officer, and he's like told me stories about like trying to deal with people on meth, and he's like, "Bro, they like have superhuman strength. Yeah. You can like taser That's them, and they're just about, like, oh! you're like, okay, I guess you're under arrest. I don't know." Sometimes when you're well, even when you're high or drunk, you always think you're tougher than you really are. Well, yeah. Maybe not so much high, but drunk, you're always like, oh, yeah. my, my, it. kick a dude's ass. <laughs> the best story I ever heard about my brother was when he was like 15, and uh, we had these rugby billets from England, and they were staying with us, and uh, they took my brother out to the fringe to the beers beer gardens, and mm. he and that's like the, one of the first times he'd ever gone out. And they got they got him in, and my cousin said he was like sitting there and he was wasted, and he was like just. He's got his eyes like real small and he's just like staring around at people. And my cousin comes <laughs> over. My cousin comes over and is like, what's going on? And he goes, I don't know. It's just kind of weird knowing that you're the most dangerous person here. <laughs> 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 this is like, and my brother, like he now he's like a big guy, but he was just like this beanpole, like fucking fifteen year old kid with a mushroom haircut, like <laughs> <laughs> toughest kid in well, the. To be fair, that was a popular haircut. Oh the yeah, that was like that was like the haircut of my high school. I remember guys always like, you do no no that cool way I part it down the middle. I'm like, no, I, you're fucking. I, I remember being sad because my hair is curly and I could never really have one. Oh, and some guys have like, curly oh, hair. Man. Did you grow an afro ever? There's always a white kid with curly hair that grew up. No, I, my hair kind of just, I've had hair down to like here before. Really? Yeah. I want to see pictures of this. I always love when guys are like, I had long hair. I'm like, please show me these horrifying pictures. <laughs> because I've, I've yet to meet a dude that had long hair and then cut it that didn't look like almost a thousand times better after he cut his hair. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Maybe it's just me and I'm not into long hair on dudes, but I'm just like. That could be it. That's sort of what it sounds like. I don't know. It's just every guy I've ever seen that had like the long hair and then he cut it. I was like, oh, hello. <laughs> Before that, I was like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> I just don't like long hair on dudes. I had, when I had long hair, I had girls specifically tell me they're like, I love the like long hair. There's, I guess it. there's just like it. people that love it. Like I love beards and some girls don't love beards. And like, uh, like I don't like long hair, but my friend, I, I like bald guys better than I like long hair. Really? That's so yeah, funny. So many bald guys are like, what? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Somebody, th someone likes us? <laughs> Did she say bald and short? Nah, <laughs> nah just bald, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> there, there's no room for short guys. <laughs> uh, I love those couples that are like very like reverse of the norm where yeah. like the woman is like tall. a large like a tall bigger yeah. lady it's like this skinny little bald Tiny dude guy. just with like the big gutsito oh. like just a bubble gut that's true love that's what you're seeing right there yeah you're like love. those people love fucking each other. love each other short, <laughs> short guys like I'm tall and I would always have short guys like and I'm like, no, I'm like, I can't. You're so little. <laughs> That's probably what a, a guy loves to hear. Yeah, yeah, I know. Guys love to hear. No, you're so little. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, like, oh. I was, I was always bigger, and I was like, no, like, I don't want to feel so like funny. I'm gonna kill you at some point. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, That's funny. I have a buddy who's like five six, and he loves like tall, tall chicks. girls. He's yeah. Like, he's like, if you're like five eleven or bigger, he's just like, yes, marry me. Yeah. You know, the, the thing about it is, we all love tall chicks but we just call they're just chicks to, to us oh, normal, look normal at heighted people <laughs> look at you look no. at you throwing your height privilege around everywhere <laughs> us, uh, <laughs> at the sixes <laughs> you got some like 6.001 <laughs> tall, tall chick to someone who's five six is like yeah, tall <laughs> just man tall chicks tall chicks <laughs> Like five eleven, is it? <laughs> I, don't know. I just love that. Five eleven, being like, I love tall chicks. It's like 
Five eleven. Most guys that say they're six feet are five eleven. Yeah. <laughs> That's what That's I found. That's so true. Yeah. I like whenever it was like online, I'd be like, I am six foot one. I am not lying about this. Why would I lie about this? And then the a, a guy be like, No, no, I'm six feet. And then I show him, I'm like, There's no way you're six feet. Like, what did you think would happen? Like, yeah. Not that, I, and I'm like, I mean, I still dated a couple short guys. They're fine, but I'm just like, I hate when guys are like, I'm six feet tall. I'm like, you're not. You're not. If you're t- if you're lying about this height, you're lying about another height. <laughs> like, there's no way you're being honest about anything. That's so funny. Yeah. I was always, I'm like 5'11.75. Like I'm just barely under six feet tall. So I always feel really weird when yeah. people ask me how tall I am. Cause I'm like saying six feet seems like. You should say 5'11 like and trying, three quarters. Yeah. But like that's the thing. It seems so stupid. But then it's like, well, I don't want to lie like downsizing myself and be like, I'm 5'11. Yeah. And then like now I'm shorting myself. But then six feet seems like a brag that's untrue. And I'm like, no, I'm in a tough place. <laughs> when do you stop dropping like the, the, the fractions in your age? Like, you know, when you're a kid, like, I'm seven and three quarters. Like, I yeah. Don't, yeah. I'm 38 and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta start doing that. <laughs> Celebrating half birthdays. I gotta start doing that. Oh my God. Or, like, when people, I remember my first boyfriend, we had like our one month anniversary, our two month anniversary. Yeah. Our, we did a whole <laughs> year of anniversaries. But now I'm just like, when, what day did we meet? I don't know. Yeah, is it the day we met or the day yeah. we went on a date? Is it the day we yeah. met or is it the day you actually got some balls and asked me to be your girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> Which day is it? When we met, when we fucked, when you asked me to be your girlfriend, what order were those? Yeah, in? exactly. <laughs> I used to have a joke. I'm like, I just celebrated my four year anniversary uh, of the first time I had sex with my boyfriend. And next week we're celebrating four years of being together. <laughs> 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 it's not that funny, but <laughs> I thought it was. <laughs> oh, sweet Jesus. What are you guys doing for Christmas? <laughs> Jim's wearing that fucking sweater. Yeah, who? So notorious Pillsbury boy? Uh, Sno- oh, it's a snowman. Snowtorious. Snowtorious. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was <laughs> the Pillsbury dope boy as notorious B.I.G. <laughs> <laughs> as a snowman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where did you get that like, uh, on the internet somewhere internet, the internet baby. has got so much stuff mm-hmm. not just Seinfeld scripts and recipes anymore yeah <laughs> and like it's hard to like Christmas is tough sometimes because like, I just buy stuff that I want when I want it because the internet has it all yeah yeah like this, for example. Yeah. <laughs> my mom works at the Amazon warehouse in BC right now. Really? Oh, yeah. is she allowed to go on bathroom breaks? Yeah. Okay, good. She was reading all that stuff and she's like, this isn't really true. I feel like, I don't think they're doing that. Maybe it was at the beginning. Like, I've heard a story that a guy died. I mean, yeah. I heard that story too and they didn't, it, they didn't even notice for half an hour. You think they're going to bring that shit up to Canada? Hells no. Right. They're going to treat us better. So, th- this was my mom's explanation of the thing. She was like, yeah, that warehouse is huge and she's like, when you... And so, okay, the lady on the thing was like, how did they not see this man for 20 minutes? But the day before when he put something in the wrong bin, they were there in like two minutes to yell at him Mm -hmm. after they saw it on video. And my mom was like, well, they didn't see him putting the wrong thing in the wrong bin on video. It like pinged it on his fucking iPad that he was putting in there. So then they went and were like, Oh, it tells you if you're doing something wrong? Well, because everything has to go in the right box. So you have to just like mark it off. So you say like, I put this, you scan this item and then you scan the box you put it in. So is that, does your mom fill boxes? Yeah. I was wondering, what, like, do they get little segways and they get to motor around? Do no, they, they just walk, they just around, walk around the warehouse. Oh, my They're God. They're called pickers. How many steps a pickers? day did your mother get? I don't know, quite a few. You got to find that out. Cause well, she actually, she owns a farm in Colombia and she was like milk farming in Colombia. Which like Colombia, the country or yes. British Colombia? No, Colombia, okay. the country. <laughs> Yeah, she's gone from Colombia to know. British Columbia. Well, That's a downgrade. My mom was a farm in Colombia. It's not like the thing. Yeah, I know. It's not a thing that most people say. say. Yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, so she walked way more doing that because she like yeah, yeah, went yeah. out and was doing that shit. So she's like, she doesn't really care. I, I, because they're, they're opening a warehouse here. I'm like, I wanted to apply just to work at it well, for a month and see what it was like. Yeah. My mom was telling me, she's like, they do two day, 10 hour shift part timers. Yeah. So you can do like, Tuesday, Wednesday, every week for like 20 hours a week. And, and just that's it? like Yeah, and just like part-time it. Oh my God, I might get a part-time job. Why the heck not? <laughs> I always wanted to work at Costco, but I never had the availability. <laughs> when, I was, <laughs> when I was a kid, you could rollerblade if you were a oh, stock yeah. boy uh, at the superstore. Super store. My yeah, best yeah, yeah, yeah. friend dated one of those stock boys. <laughs> <laughs> my friend's older brother was one. Tim to the front of the superstore and he'd zip up and his... 
I play hockey, so this is just me training and working at the same time. <laughs> my quads are going to be huge. <laughs> I know. I remember the roller skaters. And, the, and then And then later on, the non-roller skaters, what are they called? Roller bladers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was sick. Why did all that I, stop? I guess there were too many people that probably broke their faces or something yeah it was the yeah. whole problem with like everything where people were getting sued and like mcdonald's hot helmets. coffee i don't recall yeah. helmets wrist guards or shin guards or knee pads i don't recall any of that no. i just remember they had a wrist black guard. apron on <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Which, oh i want to go back to a time when they with the car hops when they would roller skate around with your burgers i never yeah. that never existed for us no, no i never had drive no, we just had drive through <laughs> we have drive through yeah i know we, we had a drive in theater I, yeah, see, I never got to see drive-in movie theater. They were like, have all you ever been to one? Back. No. There's one in uh, Lang- right by Langley in yeah, Aldergrove. Yeah, yeah. We drove. That's literally where my grandparents live. Yeah, it's Aldergrove. so much it's fun. Like you right like go and you can go for two movies and you just go <laughs> and you're like, you hang- it's fun. It's a good time. Just go make out. <laughs> that's yeah. the only thing I know about drive-in movies. That's I don't think that, get fresh. I don't think go- adult couples do that. that. That's for like teenagers who can't make out at home. Like that's why mm. my boyfriend and I would go camping. <laughs> <laughs> like we're going camping. They're so into the outdoors. <laughs> no, we just want to fuck somewhere that's indoors or something. <laughs> we're oh. ecosexuals. <laughs> ecosexuals. <laughs> oh my god no that's that's people who believe you can fight climate change by having sex with the earth that's fine what yeah it's a real thing there what has to be white people is what i always well of course it's white people yeah. gee that's not nobody but some dumb white girl thought that up a white girl with dreadlocks dude she, wait till greta <laughs> oh. finds out about it <laughs> how dare you oh no i thought you were gonna say that's how she loses her virginity <laughs> <laughs> yeah. she's like I yeah, feel like Greta would. Ra- I feel like she'd fuck the Earth eventually yeah, when she's of age. <laughs> I don't. Should do it as a symbol, essentially, because we're fucking the Earth. Yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah, a big protest. Let's everyone go fuck a tree today. Yeah. But how do how? I guess guys could find a hole, but how do girls? It's a mm. whole branch in there, baby. A Just whole loop branch. It. <laughs> Those there's. Uh, that's Ra- wrap it in like a in a leaf or something. Wrap it in a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want them to sap inside. Of you. Oh, gross! Oh, it's so sticky. <laughs> sap inside. I imagine you just sit on one of the branches and kind of like r- just <laughs> rustle back and forth. Yeah, that's, in this that's episode. how women do it. Alex <laughs> demonstrates. We just grind on a branch. branch. Yeah, you just wrap your legs around it and do like a. But that's just humping the earth. That's not <laughs> yeah. fucking You're the like earth. You're like dry humping it. Dry that's, humping that's the earth. That's teasing yeah. the earth. Well, I don't think they're trying to get it inside of them. That's <laughs> <laughs> too much. <laughs> well, that's sex, though. Sex is only... No, they're, they're going for it. Like it's, oh, like, it's, it's like rolling around in the, in the mud or like... Oh, wow. There's like earth. people, too, that... I think it's called splooshing. <laughs> 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 I think it's called. I want that sound bite. I just want to say, I think it's called splooshing. I think it's called splooshing, and it's like someone who's a who's sexually attracted <laughs> to food. It's so, the end of this so they will like get baked beans dumped all over them. Oh, and then we're like, I remember seeing something about it. it maybe it was like a John Waters thing. I know splooshing is real. Have you heard oh of? God, uh, you can Google on your phone. I don't want that in my uh, search engine. I'm brave. I'll do Have it. You seen a, a I think mukbang? A mukbang. A muk- mukbang. <laughs> is that like just fucking in mud no what <laughs> what's a mukbang it's like people just eat like gross amounts of food and cry on video it's like this weird apparently it's japanese from the thing that i heard they just eat and, and cry like on youtube yeah they'll just get like here's like 62 glazed cherry donuts do they make a lot of money doing this because I, I already do this at home by myself. <laughs> I need to just do yeah, this just and like make some money. Buckets of greasy chicken and like not using napkins, just like wiping their face and like bawling, and people just like watch it. They're I've heard of cake. Have you heard of cake farting? <laughs> no. no. Oh, I know. oh my god! I can't believe I've never heard of cake farting. Oh my god! This is an exciting day for me. <laughs> so also, you were right about splooshing. Yeah, Can I was. Confirm. Rubbing yeah. food on yourself for sexual pleasure. Yeah, I knew I was right. I knew it. Splooshing. I've never heard of cake farting. No. no. Okay, so <laughs> it's when a, a girl <laughs> buys a cake, sits on it, and farts. 
I'm, I'm going to look up a cake party video. Like, I'll search for this. I I'm gonna, yeah, I'll search for cake party. I was like, yo, this is going to be like a weird, like, you know how mukbang sounded like sex in the mud, but was somehow about food. I thought cake farting was going to be like, oh, yeah, it's this weird. No, it's just literally farting <laughs> yeah. on No, cakes. it's literally what it says. And it's usually a bigger girl. Oh, see, the Urban Dictionary says the act of getting naked and farting on a cake to be a true cake fart, the asshole must come in contact with the frosting. Ooh. Man. So there, there's there's a there's a visible sign that it's a true yeah cake fart. What do you call it if it's I guess it's just a fucking hack. Just a cake dust. You fucking hacks. You cake yeah. dusting hacks. <laughs> <laughs> cake farts. I think there's only songs. There's only about songs cake about farts. cake farting. Oh, you can't find videos. I'm look no I like I <laughs> YouTube. Oh my god, that's. People is have that some interesting... pornography or is that allowed on I YouTube? Think it well, is, I think it's porn. Maybe I should look on a porn site. <laughs> no, that's not it. That's not it. We'll look it up for next time. But mm-hmm. yeah, cake farting is... I can't believe you've never heard. No. That's crazy. I've always wondered, like, some of that stuff is, like, obviously just weirdos making things out. Like, you ever hear yeah. the g- insane ones that are, like, ghost in the attic and, like, the teenage werewolf and, like, fucked up shit like that? No. Oh, the ghost God. in the attic. <laughs> Ghost in the Attic is where uh, you are having a threesome with, uh, or you're having sex with a woman from behind, and then you pretend that the condom broke, and then your buddy comes out from the closet and takes over. Well, you sneak out, and then you go wave at her from outside of the window. I've heard of that as a Houdini, and yeah. also, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've, like yeah, that's weird, like a, yeah, that's like a, that's a yeah. well used. Yeah, that's like a made up, and then like the Spider Man, it's like throwing just yeah. jizz at her face. Oh my god, all this stuff is like some asshole thought of it. Yeah, yeah some like never did it. Some bro yeah, in the yeah, nineties. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, oh, I just want to throw some cum in some bitch's face. And, and, then, and then I was like, Ugh. "It's like, were you? Really? <laughs> were you really <laughs> in your and real then life?" She passed out, and I fucking shaved my pubes <laughs> on her and made yeah. her an Abe Lincoln. Oh <laughs> my god! No, those are not oh, real. Man. Those are not real. They're not real at all. At all. Oh, They're god. like those. Those. Oh, whatever jokes about that. <laughs> like, I always like love when people have jokes about like. Oh, those are the stupidest things. Amy Schumer closed her ap- Apollo whatever taping with a joke about that. And I was just about like, like spider Manning or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then people oh. said they, she stole it from Patrice O'Neill. But I'm like, I get that that's a joke, but that's not a closer. Don't use that as no. a closer. That's a joke, but don't, that's not a closer, especially yeah. at the Apollo. I was yeah, like, yeah. You're like I really like night. her, but I was just like in shock. I was like, yeah, anyway. Yeah, it's tough when... It's, like, weird when people ask me about certain comedians. Now, like, Amy Schumer's one of them and Kevin Hart's one of them. Where yeah. I'm, like, listen. I'm, like, when they got famous, they were, like, some of the best in the world yeah, at yeah, what yeah. they did. And, like, I looked up to them amazingly. But the shit that they've been putting out, you're, like, are you a different person? Like, what is happening? That's why comedy's fucked. Because, like, you can have, like, a, a smash of an hour. It's like the Dane Cook thing. He had a smash hour. And then he's expected to write another great hour, and he just didn't have that skill set. Yeah, yeah. He just didn't think, have the yeah, skill set to write. Yeah, it took X number of years yeah. to get that smash hour. Yeah, because then all of a sudden you have to. Like twenty it. years ago, you just got an hour, and you were king of the world for hmm. like ten years, and you just kept doing the hour again and again and again and again, and you still go back to the same thing the next year. Oh, I can't wait! He's gonna do his bag, his joke about yeah. this, yeah. and that was normal for comedy. Like people like new people's acts but now it's like you're expected to come out with a new joke all the time which is good but it's also like well no huh? <laughs> i'm not fuck. going to I'm not, gonna. <laughs> I'm not going to everyone's like i just wrote a brand new hour i'm like fucking is it good the whole thing or is it yeah, like i bet it's great yeah 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 so i don't know i don't know it's just a weird it's a weird time to be in comedy it's, the internet has made it so weird. Especially There's just like too many people doing comedy. Netflix and podcasts. Yeah. And then like. There's just so many people doing comedy. It's it's unreal. And like there's some really good fucking people that aren't getting seen because they're not go-getters. Yeah. But. Yeah. That's the biggest problem is like even. The, but the weird thing is. The go-getters the that suck are like. <laughs> yeah. The go-getters that suck are crushing it. But then the yeah. whole comedy community is like. Can we please. Like how many times do we have to fucking ask you guys. To make fucking Dave Attell famous. How is yeah, Dave like, Attell not a household name yet? Yeah, it's crazy. It's who so fucking crazy. doesn't know who Dave Attell is? Why is he not rich beyond his wildest dreams? I think he's taking... I think he's got a lot of friends that have been like, here, I'm gonna, like, help you out. Cause, but yeah, it's fuck, It's a travesty that <laughs> not everybody knows who Dave Attell mm-hmm. is, and then, but everybody knows who Jeff Dunham is. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. That's, uh, and that that's yeah. even considered stand-up. That's ventriloquism, I please. Know. I know. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm not a fan. No, 
it's, <laughs> it's, it's very, very, I guess it's like in any industry though. Like I'm sure that there's people in other industries where people are like, this guy's so fucking good, but nobody knows and nobody will oh, yeah. see. And yeah. like, there's probably like a million bands out there that are like unreal that we'll never hear of. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, you just, you have to be very, very like, uh, ambitious ambitious these days if you are not ambitious you're you're not gonna go far you have to be willing to like shove things and people aside yeah. and like you have to be willing to do that you have to be willing to offer to take a booker to brunch <laughs> yeah. you have to be willing to become best friends with the bookers of this and that and it's just like if you're not you're not gonna get anything right you're not gonna get because everything's personal Mm-hmm. I'm I I think a lot of booking is personal. Yeah, I I mean I get booked because people like me, not just because I'm good, but because oh we like having you here because we like you. Yeah. So you become friends with somebody that books something, then yeah, you're gonna get a lot of shit because they want to hang out with you. Totally. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It just happens, and it's so funny that people. It's funny to me when people get mad at it. And it's like, well, when you have a show, who do you book on? It's like your buddies. because yeah. They're sick. Yeah. And yeah. You like them. Yeah. Yeah. You have to, you have to be willing to become friends with everybody, even people you don't want to be friends with. You have yeah. to be. And you have to be like. I remember when I started, everyone says the best advice is like, besides being good, be someone that people want to hang out with. Cause those headliners be like, Oh, cause when you're, cause when they say, well, who would you want to work with? You're like, uh, Oh, I had a lot of fun with Jim last time. I'll work with Jim. Yeah. 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 So that's how you'll get stuff. Hmm. You just have to be fun and cool. I don't know. Not yeah. cool. Nobody's, none of us are cool, but like <laughs> comedy cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Comedy, you know, comedian. Cool for comedian a comedian. cool, but not real life cool. Cause yeah, that's yeah. nobody. None of us are. Not. If you're real life cool, get the fuck out I of my car. I love it when like actual real life cool people want to get into stand up. And I'm like, okay, we'll see how this goes for you. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. I've only seen idiot. it happen once where somebody who was cool and had a ton of friends stuck to it. It was Keith Sarnowski. Oh, I've nice. only seen that once where it's just like, no, this person's like a cool person. Like he's got a lot of friends and like, mm-hmm. he doesn't need to do stand up at all. Like he's, it, yeah. it's not going to fulfill him the way it will fulfill a loser, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but he, <laughs> he's stuck around. Like I remember mm-hmm. when he came in, I'm like, this guy's going to be here for like a month and then he's going to be like, this is boring. Yeah. yeah. And then he's going to move on. But no, he stuck around. Yeah. And yeah. did good too. Yeah. That's the other surprising thing is when someone who's normal, cool is good at comedy. Yeah. And you're like, that was weird. Yeah. I just love it when people that are like really cool want it. Like I remember there was this one guy, he would like owned a bar or something in town. I'm not I'm be vague so I don't hurt anyone's feelings, but like <laughs> I remember they he did funniest person with a day job and he was just like this cool guy. I'm like, We don't need this. You don't need to get into this. Like yeah. you're fine. Yeah. I got a funny story about all that pussy you got. Pal. Something like that. And then he did one of my jokes. <laughs> I was standing in the crowd and he did one of my jokes and I was like I came up to him and I'm like, You just did I had a joke about eating like pretending you were eating corn on the cob when you're giving head it's it was dumb it was an awful joke but he did it word for word and then i was like hey you just did one of my jokes he goes i know it's like one of my favorites and i was like <laughs> <laughs> because like you when you first know start, when you i had a street joke in my act when i first started i didn't know awesome. i had no idea that that was like oh mm-hmm. no you have to write everything like you can just go to maxim and so i read this in my like yeah 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 but like that just like made that bl- that made me laugh so hard because i was like most comics were like fuck you for stealing and the guy's like oh yeah i loved it that's my favorite show yeah. like, he thinks that you're allowed to do that I, but, it. I loved it i'm your i'm like I'm a cover band fan. for comedy uh, there was a car- co- comedy karaoke in niagara falls where they would play like george carlin and you would read it out <laughs> I bet you that would be an in actual character? fuck. We should do that. We should do comedy yeah. karaoke, and so people that want to try comedy can feel what it's like to tell something funny. That's you a, know that's what a I good mean. Idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We should fucking let's just do that. One of your bars that like yeah. do one stuff at. Let's things. just do a fun night of it. See, we should just that to see what happens. I'm, yeah, I'd be curious to know what it's like to say something funny into a crowd. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Jim's always Jim really Jim wanted would, to know for Jim a while. Jim would finally <laughs> do well at a show. <laughs> I would love to know how that feels. You know Jim is in. Sign me up. You know Jim is in it for the right reasons because he (laughs) hasn't gotten any laughs to be like, I love it. I'm in it for the laughs. (laughs) Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's not for the pussy. It's not for the (laughs) dopamine. For the love of being bad at the game. Uh, uh, this, is, there's the striking out can be fun. If, yes, <laughs> I just like swinging the bat. <laughs> <laughs> I, this is why I love comedy because you can make fun of each other. And people get it. you're just having fun. <laughs> yeah. Like when I'm at work and I like roast a waitress, a fellow waitress. She's like, "Why are you so mean?" <laughs> <laughs> no, I yeah. got a talking to once because uh, 
on I ran don't ever do this if you work at a bar run a comedy show at the bar that you work at I just like on stage like said that one of the waitresses was kind of a whore or something like that but she was (laughs) but she was she was No, I don't know if she was or not. But yeah, well, <laughs> clearly she was because you were like, she was. <laughs> it I might have been she I, was. Well, I don't, I don't know. know. I mean, <laughs> I actually don't even know. I didn't like hang out with her or anything, but she did something that was stupid. And then I was like, oh, don't mind her. She's just like flirting with people. And then everyone laughed. And I was like, no, for real, she's kind of a whore. And then like <laughs> everyone laughed again. And then the next day, the fucking boss was like, she was very upset. Like oh she came in God. here. I was like, oh my God, I didn't, I forgot that if another comic got off stage and I was like, she's kind of a whore. I mean, a the lot comics of, would be like, ha ha. Nobody really, really wants to be called a whore. That's kind of like not a, that's a, that's a, not a nice thing to call somebody, but yeah, it, it, it's a comedy show. Like I, yeah. I was told at a place, at, well, a spot, like they told, I have a joke about strippers and I did it uh, during a night where there was also burlesque and <laughs> I've done it on other burlesque shows before. I've never had an issue. And yeah. then uh, the owner was like, she wasn't mad at me. She was just like, so blah, blah, blah came up and said she didn't want you to tell those stripper jokes because it hurts her feelings or something. I'm like, but I don't consider her a stripper. She's a burlesque. It's different. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's on her for like projecting herself into that joke. Like I'm like, if you think that I'm calling you like, Dumb and ugly? No, I'm calling strippers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just the You're ones not that are strippers. But no, I was just kind of, and I <laughs> yeah. still like I know which one it was. And every time I see her there, I'm just like, I hate you. Yeah. And I've never talked to her either. I think I would have been better with it if she had come up to me personally. I hate when people go through someone else yeah. to complain about you. Yeah. I fucking hate that. Like it's like if you can't come up to me and tell me what your problem is then you're a pussy and I don't give a shit about yeah. your feelings. Also, it sucks because you never get a chance to defend yourself because most of the yeah. time they're offended of something. You're like, I don't think you understood yeah, what I even like, meant by it. Let me talk to you yeah. and like understand like, where I'm coming from in that joke. And it's just like, yeah. Yeah, because for you, you would have been like, I don't even think you're a stripper. Like, why are you offended? That yeah. wasn't even remotely about you. Like, yeah. I was talking about the chick at Airways in Leduc. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, maybe she was a former stripper and it hurt her feelings. I don't know. Like, she's a thin burlesque performer and I kind of get offended by that. <laughs> I do. Burlesque was about robust women dancing naked. And that's mm-hmm. one of the things when burlesque started happening, it was always bigger girls that are like, mm-hmm. fuck it, I want to be proud of my body. And then now it's like there's some like super hot burlesque dancers. And I'm like, good for you, but also fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a lot of burlesque hate if anyone also- watches. Fuck. <laughs> Next Good week, for we you, have a burlesque dancer on the show. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah let's do it. Let's or, or is it a stripper? <laughs> so you want the kids fully naked and you got one of them titty tassels on. What's, what's your deal? Do you get fully naked or do you got them titty tassels? That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> tassels or no tassels? <laughs> I'm a tassel stripper, okay? <laughs> Please show me the respect that I, I deserve. An entertainer. <laughs> and just to be clear, I have a lot of friends in burlesque, and I think they're extremely tassel talented stripping. and gorgeous and like wonderful. So I don't, I'm not trashing burlesque. I'm kind of trashing this rude one. <laughs> that, like, one has, lady that has two, she, it's, you, cl- you clearly know she takes herself too seriously. That's, yeah. that's another thing. And I don't like people that take themselves too well, seriously. Well, at a comedy show too. Like, yeah, it was a burlesque comedy show, but yeah. And but, even when I was telling that joke, I'm like, I wonder if anyone's going to be, but I'm like, no one's going to be pissed off about this. And then, yeah, yeah. she was. was and like, then, yes. Turns out. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whatever. That's funny. I know. Some people are just shitty. Yeah. yeah. Like then they just not like you have to under you have to be able to look at anything in in the lens of a joke. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten much more comfortable with accepting that some people are shit. I used to take everything and been like, I was wrong in that situation. Like yeah, that must have yeah, yeah, been yeah, me. Yeah. And then it's like, oh no, sometimes like someone's just a fucking idiot and yeah. I didn't say anything wrong and they just got mad. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, I know I'm talking about like this all the time. I'm, like, I'm sure she's had lots of people come up to her and call her a stripper. Just like I've yeah. had lots of people come up to me and say, you're actually funny for a girl. And I usually hate girls. Oh, God. Like, I'm sure she gets that all. So maybe it was just kind of like, oh, not another. I get yeah. that. But I just am annoyed that she didn't come up to me and personally talk to me about it. So yeah. it's so much better if you have a problem with someone that you talk to them. Or you just don't talk to them and don't say anything to anyone. Yeah. yeah. Those, are, those are my ways of doing things. I either <laughs> talk it. about it or I just ignore you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you no need to bring a third person in. No, it's just yeah. silly. It's like I'm telling. Did I you want mediate you to this know. conflict? 
Yeah, but yeah. You're an adult tattletale, and that's sad. <laughs> that really is what it is. It hey? is adult tattletale. Yeah. Yeah, and you're not supposed snitch. to tattle. <laughs> hey, little snitch. <laughs> And I want you to know I'm upset, but I want none of the controversy. Yeah, that's, I think, the biggest thing. It's just like, just talk to me. Then maybe I would have known why you felt that I was talking about you when I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I've also like, had conversations that have made me like change, not necessarily my mind, but like change the wording of a joke. Because I'm like, oh, I didn't even get that I was coming across saying yeah. it that way. Like, I didn't yeah. even fucking think about I'm that. always open for someone c- discussing a joke for, with me, but also listening to my reasoning for so the what joke. what you have to say. Yeah. A long time ago when I first started, I had a rape joke and this woman came up to me after and she was furious. She's like, I've been raped before. You can't just rape, j- joke about rape. That's a horrible thing. And I said, yeah, I've been raped before and this is how I deal with it. Yeah. Like I don't, you can't. And I said, you can't ever go up to a woman and tell her what she can and cannot talk about. You don't know what happened to her. I mm-hmm. like, I don't know what happened to you. But you came here to listen to people's thoughts and maybe some people are going to think about shit that you don't like. Yeah. But that's either you stay or you get up and leave. You're yeah. not going to hurt my feelings if you don't like what I'm saying and you leave. You're going to hurt my feelings if you have a temper tantrum after because you sat through it and didn't like it. Yeah, exactly. It's your own fault. Yeah. yeah. Not that she got raped. Look at what you're wearing. That's not bad. That's not bad. You can't say that, and you're like, you can't tell me what I can and can't say. It's you, you true. You can't tell a woman what she can and can't say. Yeah, you can't woman. tell a man either. But like, yeah, I just don't. You can't tell people what to say. No. Yeah. You can tell people what to say by not listening to it. You it's the best way to do it. Fucking go. Yeah. Or you can yeah. tell people what you think about what they said. Yeah, but you can't expect them to be like, oh, God, you're right. I should change my ways exactly for you. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no. Tell me more of your opinions about yeah. me. <laughs> Please tell me how I can change for you personally. <laughs> 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 I was at the comic strip this weekend and Mike Danbro was on stage and he was like, there was um, a, a staff party from the um, Enoch uh reserve Mm -hmm. and so it was like the chief and like the people that worked for enoch and so dambra knew them and they knew dambra and so there was a couple parties there so he talked to a few and then he talked to like this uh one party from calgary and then he said something he started talking to the people from enoch and they were like we're a band and he's like what kind of band like he knew what he was just joking and like he's like i don't know what a chief is like he was just joking around and being mike dambra using retarded a lot and stuff like yeah. that and like in the middle of him talking to the people from enoch this buff dude from calgary stands up and he's like you're someone else better come up soon because you're a fucking racist and i was just like what, what? and he looks at those guys you can't talk about these people that way and then the the chief goes uh we're fine we know him we're here to see him <laughs> and it was oh like God. and then the guy just got all flustered and like left but like I just I wanted to talk to him I'm like what happened there you're and he was a white guy like I'm yeah. like I think his white guilt is just building up inside of him it had to explode at some point yeah <laughs> years but I mean, that must be a very annoying thing for minorities to have white oh, people stand yeah. up for them sometimes hey and yeah like, no we're we're still yeah I can't imagine sometimes when some just like some lady is like you need to like just stop all the hate or even some just like douchey dude yeah, yeah who's just like. He's like, you guys need to leave these fucking guys alone. I'm going to make a statement and everyone's going to love yeah, me. Yeah, you're like, dude, what do you think? You're my hero? Yeah. Like, yeah. oh, thank you, sir. Yeah, it's the same <laughs> yeah. as like guys white knighting for women. It's yeah. the same as like, listen, Kathleen, you don't have to put up with this shit. Come with me. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm good. Hop in my <laughs> truck, pal. <laughs> No, it's like I've this got grape drink and watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's very obnoxious. It's very, does that happen to white guys? Does anything like that happen? Does no. anybody stand up for you guys? <laughs> no one stands up. Well, for yeah, white guys. You, other you, white, other yeah, white guys. Yeah, you don't need things anybody things to stand are, up for you. Yeah, <laughs> so tilted in our favor. These are so good. Stand up for what? <laughs> not, not publicly. We just do a bunch oh. of shit in the background to make sure we're covered. Oh, no, sorry. They stand up when I enter the room. <laughs> <laughs> to shake my they, hand. As and they look always me. should. Sir? As they've been trained. <laughs> no eye yeah, contact, no though. Needs, Never no direct eye to, contact no. with a white no. guy. <laughs> no. Oh, my grandparents said the funniest thing. This, like, oh, this boy, was strap in. <laughs> so my granddad turned 90. And uh, my Nana's like 80 something and they moved from England to Canada and I was just like asking them about it. And this ended up being, I'm going to say for a 90 year old man, a pretty progressive conversation. Yeah. But I was like, how, so how'd you end up coming to Canada? And my Nana was like, oh yeah, well, uh, he got two job offers. One was in Johannesburg and one was in Canada. Yeah. And uh, she's like, I didn't 
want there to be tension in the house with the way he was like treating like the help and stuff. So like I said, Canada. And then he's like, my granddad's like, what are you talking about? And my nana's like, you know, like the maids and the like the 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 black people you wouldn't have been as nice as i would have liked he's like i would have been friendly she's like there wouldn't have been a lot of pleases and thank yous in my <laughs> i love what your grandma's calling your grandpa out for being racist <laughs> yeah, like, my, and then my granddad was like what and then my nana just went like back then tony and he went <laughs> and then back he, then tony and he was just like yeah, well, fair enough. <laughs> I mean, like, but that's it's funny. <laughs> he was just like, yeah, I was. I, I was probably waiting for a slur that. to come out. I was waiting for some <laughs> crazy slur. Not, you know, like uh, uh, it's yeah. like when you talk to your old white grandparents. I think yeah, we've old talked white about this before. Yeah, that it's, it's just like that's why I mean, it was very progressive. Yeah, he was kind of like, yeah, I actually probably would have been an asshole back yeah, then. My yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah. some of the terms that, and you're, and it's your grandpa, and you're like, grandpa. No, yeah, they're, they're no. like not even <laughs> trying to be mean. It's just yeah, like what the. <laughs> What yeah, I don't know. Yeah, like my grandpa would use the term Oriental a lot. <laughs> yeah. and like, yeah, you don't yeah. come, and I don't know. You're like, and then he's not using their people of the Orient. It's yeah, he would say, "Why not? Why not?" And I was like, "I just don't. I think they don't like it." And he's yeah. like, "I don't. <laughs> what, uh, why wouldn't you like it? Well, that's what they are." And I'm like, "Okay, grandpa, but just yeah, <laughs> like, can we talk about?" Something I know. Else? <laughs> I know. It's like if somebody called. No, I'm not gonna say that. <laughs> Never mind. We're not going to get in that much trouble on this that, podcast. Like, what <laughs> yeah. if I started calling you by your first name, Grandpa? It's yeah. Like, that's what you are, but you would hate it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's, that's true. One that works. That yeah. is true. You should use that for your grandparents that are being racist. <laughs> that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. What if My I started... name is Alex Ford, and I'm here to stop grandparent racism. <laughs> <laughs> I started wearing my hat at the dinner table and calling you Patricia. I'm sure you'd hate it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, don't be disrespectful. But there's still towns like um, Saskatoon has. <laughs> A restaurant <laughs> called Oriental Aroma. <laughs> Last time I was there, they still had that it. That sounds like a bad thing you would say. Like, there's a bit of an it's, Oriental Aroma. Yeah, it's just, it sounds like a candle <laughs> you yeah. get from yeah. like the dollar store. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, every time I go back, I'm like, oh, no, it's still here. <laughs> it's still here. Well, still here. and thriving at and the house. They love it here. They love Oriental Aroma in Saskatoon. <laughs> <laughs> My God, you smell that? That's Oriental Aroma, baby. I love Saskatoon. Well, they used to call original flavor for uh, ramen noodles. Yeah. Oriental. Oriental <laughs> flavor? Good. They did. Yeah. Long, long time ago. Before it was <coughs> extremely racist to do. But That's yeah. so funny. I just remember like beef, chicken, and shrimp. But it, I have a question though. Yeah, I just remember. Sorry. So is Asian an, is an offensive term? No. Okay. I think it's just, yeah, because then you're from the continent of Asia. Yeah, because I never know, like, what's rude anymore. Just don't, I know that don't makes me sound anyone. even more racist saying yeah. that, no, but, like... Not really, because it's just, there, there's a lot of people a lot more sensitive yeah. than the average person. Even. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it comes down to, like, is a person being offended on behalf of someone else yeah. who they haven't spoken to about it, or... I saw somebody post something that was actually kind of cool. That's like if it was about misgendering people. It's like if you misgender someone, just when they correct you, just say thank you instead of I'm sorry, so that they don't have to say oh no no it's okay. Right. So like yeah, just say oh, thank you. Yeah, change, so somebody, change the tone of the of the. Yeah, just so someone's bit. like oh thanks. Like so oh no you taught me something, mm -hmm. which I think sounds like I think that's a better way to do yeah. it. Yeah, I, I think so. I'm sure there's someone who will get weird when you say thank you though, and they're like, mm, don't yeah, you mean sorry? Like and you then were. Like, and they'll be like, I read it on Twitter. I thought that's what I was supposed hey, to do. Wait, do you people say sorry instead of thank you or thank you? <laughs> <laughs> you guys doing words now too? I didn't know about this. It's hard. No one told me. I'm it's, sorry. Thank you. Wait, which one is? <laughs> it's hard to live an everyday life. <laughs> it is, man. Just staying home with my dogs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was gonna talk Your to you dogs? <laughs> <laughs> you don't own them. Well, I do, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, is this why my parents only had five friends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they oh don't want to talk to anyone. They're like, I actually, fuck most yeah. of you. <laughs> I think that's what happens is you get tired of people. <laughs> yeah. You're just like, I try to try to make said plans. Thank you. Yeah. And then they yelled at me for saying sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was a fight. <laughs> there was a big fight. <laughs> at, the, at the shish kebab station <laughs> I just wanted to say shish kebab Is that racist? <laughs> I don't know I don't know oh, Yo I saw this picture today of like uh, Jay-Z and Kanye West At P. Diddy's birthday And yeah. like Kanye and Jay-Z were both just trying to like Not look at each other like both like pissed off Yeah 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 there was a lot of controversy from that Like there was like everyone was saying That some people were saying that Kim Kardashian Looked better than Beyonce and the rest of the 
smart people were like, uh, that could never happen because Beyonce is perfect in every way. Beehive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. They're like, oh no, Kanye and uh, Jay Z made up, and I'm like, I, I don't know. I think <laughs> They don't. Jay Z does not need Kanye West in his life. Apparently, Jay Z snatched someone's phone or something. Yeah, I saw that because he was taking pictures of Beyonce dancing. Mm. Like he was, he was filming her dancing, and then Jay Z grabbed it. And then Beyonce goes, eh, "Sorry." <laughs> uh, imagine at a Beyonce concert, and he's just in the front row, just swatting, swatting phones. phones away. No, yeah, no, no, no. I mean, that's tacky to be at like a VIP party filming it. Totally. Yeah. If you're, a, if you're that, act like you've been here before. Come on, yeah, man. that's like, yeah, that's act always like you've been, yeah, act like you belong here. I always <laughs> feel like awkward for people that are at those like, if you go to like Just for Last or something and you hang out at the Hyatt and there's all these people and then you see comics like, can I have a selfie? I'm like, oh, I feel bad I, for you. I know. Yeah. I, I mean, hate... I want a selfie so bad, but I'm not gonna ask for it. <laughs> I, yeah. I hate when my friends do that when like someone cool. Comes oh yeah, the if you bring strip. somebody, yeah. Or not even if you bring someone, like even just with other comics, like yeah, you're yeah, yeah, going yeah, yeah. through the comic strip and then you're like hanging out with the comedian and then your buddy is like, hey, can I get a picture? And you're like, man, now he's not going to hang out with us anymore. Yeah, like, yeah, you yeah, just yeah, yeah. comics to be in fans. Yeah, 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 like yeah. That. Yeah. Like, yeah. Stop it's hard. That's why I always ask for a picture at the end of a weekend if I work with them. Yeah. <laughs> so it's not so awkward. Yeah, bye. Yeah. <laughs> it's super awkward though. But there are some people that are just like, nope, every person I meet that's famous, I'll take a selfie with them. Yeah. <laughs> like, yikes. Yeah. <laughs> like, I have this portfolio. I'm like, oh, yeah, but who cares? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I feel like most people that do that probably don't even put it into a folder. It's probably just in their pictures somewhere, never to be seen again. Yeah, they yeah. just jerk off to it once a month. And then they just <laughs> tell people, like, I have pictures with all the celebrities I met. And they're like, I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah, what else? Like, are you going to be that person? Oh, like, Jim, <laughs> this is Jim's carry? J- January uh, 20. It's the new autograph, though. Remember when you could only get yeah. an autograph? Yeah. I had an autograph book that I brought with me to Disneyland. Autographs were cool, though. I got autographs from Mickey Mouse nice. and Cinderella and Chip and Dale. <laughs> I didn't know they could even write. <laughs> Goofy has a great handwriting. <laughs> oh, great penmanship on that, dog. I'd love to see two kids. Like, you get back from Disney, they're like, Goofy sign my page. He's like, he's like, Goofy sign my page. And they're two totally different. Yeah, they don't different. look at all alike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Goofy got fired for doing heroin oh or whatever. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> You know what my favorite thing to watch on YouTube now? Like, you know, people watch stuff to cry, like uh, veterans coming home to their dogs, not their kids. I don't like the ones with kids. I like the <laughs> dogs. But, like, I love when, like, little kids are at Disneyland and they... You know, people watch stuff to cry. No. <laughs> oh, you don't do that? <laughs> Sometimes you just got to do it. Uh, the last dead baby bear, she asked Sean if, if he ever gets together with buddies. And, and cry. And cries. And Sean's like, no, but also I don't have friends. <laughs> 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 it's like boys don't just get together and cry <laughs> but no. even by yourself you don't just watch stuff you're like I gotta get a good you don't watch a movie because you want to cry no no oh. well we, I cry like once a year ish <laughs> let it out buddy I don't let it out I don't like not want to I it just yeah. her for the rest of the year <laughs> <laughs> yeah it just feels like it's not worth it. I mean, it if guys time. were as worried about crying as they were as coming, then they would cry all the time. Just yeah, like, yeah. oh, I got blue eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I got blue. If I don't cry, it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> I get blue lids. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault if I don't cry. There's a, don't... There's a backup. It all backs up in there and it <laughs> yeah, swells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't cry, it it's hurts. painful. It's so painful. <laughs> Imagine if I almost cry, but then I don't get to cry. <laughs> uh, it's the it's like worst. My mom comes home or something oh it's so, it's so awful it's so awful. <laughs> okay but i've watched i've been watching videos of kids seeing like people at disneyland that they love like cinderella or yeah, something yeah. it's so cute like little and i don't i don't like kids but i love these ones they're so cute <laughs> where it's just like they see cinderella and they're like oh, cinderella! I'm like you fucking idiot it's just an actress that wants to you get out of porn but <laughs> but here she is being cinderella at disneyland <laughs> and the mom's like Okay, don't get too close to that red spot on her mouth, sweetheart. <laughs> I got herpes from Cinderella. <laughs> I got it from Goofy. Oh, my God. He hugged me too I close. I got it from my uncle. <laughs> Andrew Iwanek <laughs> used to be Andrew Iwanek used to be the manager of mascots at West Edmonton Mall. Like, I'm not even kidding you. That's and the perfect job for that guy. He brought one. He was on, he was in a mascot costume on stage once. And it was, really? It was That's pretty awesome. fucking funny. But he was, like, talking to a girl and... And she was taking a long time to answer. He's like, answer quickly. I am fucking hot in here. And like he came off and it was like soaking wet. Like yeah. he was funny. But uh, he said sometimes he would dress up in the costumes and it would be weird because kids would come up and like hug you right mm. here. Yeah. And they would just like, 
hug you and he'd be like, this is so weird. <laughs> like, oh, no. I mean, I guess that's the kind of person you want to be a children's mascot. Somebody yeah. that thinks it's disgusting like, and weird. That's true, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to hug this me. way. I'm gonna, we're going to hug far away. Leave oh, some my space God. for the Lord. <laughs> yeah, if you, if, if you see a hus- uh, mascot really hugging a kid, that's a pedophile in there. That's, yeah. that's a pedophile. That's really a pedophile. On the back of the head. <laughs> no, yeah. no <laughs> two second hug that's all you got oh, yeah, that, if, if they're lingering it's mm. like the water oh. fountain when you're in elementary school like one two three go <laughs> did you what? guys do that no, no. what are you talking we about we had a rule because our class would have to go for like wa- like when we were in like grade kindergarten and grade one they'd have to go water the kids <laughs> <laughs> yeah they'd take us for like a water break and a washroom break yeah. like every hour or whatever and then so the whole thing wouldn't get backed up You'd be like, one, two, three, go. And then the next person would be like, one, two, three, go. And then you'd go next in line. Very orderly. You were like, yeah, were you going to a German school? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's Catholic French immersion. Three seconds of water, that's all you get. And back to work with you. go. <laughs> and you better not take more than 10 seconds to pee. Oh, my God, that's so funny. We had a teacher that used to make us duck walk from the gym back duck walk yeah i, I would mean? be cr- like crouch down and walk what the fuck she would it was part of our exercise and i would cry because i was a fat kid i was just like i'm not having any of this i'm not duck walking back every time we had gym i would have like panic attacks because i'm like i'm gonna have to duck walk oh, <laughs> oh my God. that's just like came back to me now <laughs> i just had a realization here i think there was only a few years in my whole school and like especially like junior high and high school where, where i had like serious gym teachers that like for the most of the time was just like all right basketball on this side volleyball on this side then they would just sit there and Do chirp whatever. chirp kids yeah. yeah but i think like once or twice it was like okay we're gonna start with like five laps and you'd be like what the fuck for us it was, middle, it was supposed to be dodgeball yeah right? it was always middle school for it's us it was like time. when we were like 13 and it was like the teacher who clearly wasn't good enough to be the high school teacher because he you know he always wanted to be like, yeah. I want to coach the basketball team, but he, there was already the basketball coach. <laughs> yeah. So this yeah. kid was coaching junior the junior high, high kids, <laughs> and he's like, I right, run 5K today, boys. Yeah. What? Either this that. is voluntary. Why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> I got to go home and do my homework, sir. Oh, my God. No way. The same with Terry Fox run. I always was like, what day is Terry Fox? I'm going to call him. Do you know what's so <laughs> funny? We had to do a run. Do you know what's hilarious? I never understood like that as like which sounds in high school i was like taking gym as an option every year and like the terry fox run i was like fuck yeah and everyone's like what are you so happy about i was like dude we gotta run instead of do math that's the best i'd rather do math and i hate math <laughs> <laughs> i was so stoked i'd rather go- round fractions or whatever multiply fractions <laughs> And fucking run. That's so far. I loved it. I was like, I just get to like run around the field and fuck around with my buddies and like we'd like wrestle each other and like race. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. And you probably were fit. <laughs> yeah, we were just like, <laughs> but it was like it wasn't even we were fit. We we're just dummies. Like we just didn't want to be in class. We just wanted to fuck around. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. I hated the Terry Fox run. That was always like, oh, it's Terry I don't Fox Day. The only time I would ever come is if I knew there'd be donuts and McDonald's orange drink after. Oh, <laughs> McDonald's, McDonald's, McDonald's orange drink, drink was the shit. Yeah. Hose so water, McDonald's orange it. drink. Yeah. Remember when they changed it? They don't even, yeah. It used to be, literally it was a jug of syrup. I watched people make it. It was a dr- jug of syrup. Oh, and God. they would just put hose water in and stir. Hose oh. water. <laughs> it had to be hose water. They're not going to do it inside yeah, in a tap. Yeah, on those Gatorade yeah. tubs. Like, mm. I loved hose water when I was a kid. <laughs> It was the best. You never yeah. drank out of the oh, hose? Okay. Absolutely. It was yeah, so, yeah. so you ever, cold like, always. <laughs> my friend and I used to take the <laughs> used to take the squirty thing, you know that? And we like, put it in our mouths like all around. And then we'd shoot it on the high <laughs> setting. <laughs> <laughs> and that was before we knew like cum and anything. That was like just that two girls having fun. Watching, <laughs> out of the yard, like, motherfucker! What are yeah, our well, two <laughs> sluts daughters doing? Yeah, she's like, well, they'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> the like, two just girls let were... them do it they're just playing listen we want her to marry rich so like, we're not gonna two say girls anything. Who will get anything they want <laughs> yeah we used to do that all the time before and then yeah that's so fun just your natural oh inclination my God. Like, it was just how much na- you can keep in your mouth it was just my natural like inclination you... to take a lot into my mouth at one time <laughs> <laughs> rate guys like, based on their it, setting it. <laughs> <laughs> don't spit it swallow out swallow all of it swallow all of it see if you can swallow all of it all the boys would come over and watch. <laughs> Why do we like this so much? <laughs> Not sure, but something's no going idea. on. <laughs> 
play hockey oh closer to their God. house. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way. What are we? Oh yeah, an hour ten. Perfect. Let's end this bad boy. That's a great way to end this thing. We did it. <laughs> yeah, we did it. We made we it. We did it. We're successful. <laughs> Kathleen, where can people find you? Um <laughs> on the internet in Yahoo chat. Uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> younger women looking for older guys. <laughs> You should see me with the nozzle of a hose. <laughs> but uh, oh, you can f- I'm on Instagram, Kathleen underscore McGee, and Twitter, Kathleen underscore McGee. And I'm on the Dead Baby Bear podcast with Sean the Comber. And uh, we're really hoping that it'll make us famous because stand-up isn't working out. <laughs> <laughs> so if you could listen, that'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, and check out, you guys got a Patreon for that too, right? Yeah, but we're not We've really keeping of, it up. No, I can't we- even get into it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's because we changed our taping day, I think, also, and all this yeah, other. Yeah, that kind of messed it up. Other stuff happened, but I think people are still paying for it, so that's nice of them. Nice. I think we're still making 20 bucks a month. Nice. <laughs> Woo. I haven't nice. collected it. Three supporters. It's very exciting. Yeah. yeah. Three supporters. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very or whatever exciting. Whatever that ends up being. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, Dead Baby Bear's the shit. It's I so love. Funny. You know, <laughs> I get to watch episode? it here in the studio every what week. What the fuck did Sean say the last episode that made me lose my goddamn mind? Oh man, that oh, last was when he was talking about <laughs> getting some gold on that. He was talking about getting booked when they book everyone else. Oh yeah. <laughs> hey, why don't you try? It? Oh yeah, I don't know. He already, he already yeah, said yeah, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a backup comic or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So fucking funny. <laughs> Which is ridiculous. You two are both so mean to yourselves and then so kind to each other. <laughs> That's true. That is true. We Sean's like, yeah, I'm the fucking backup comic. <laughs> and then you're like, no, Sean, you're the greatest. Everyone looks up to you. And then everyone listening's like, that is true. <laughs> and then you're like, I'm the backup comic. And Sean's like, fuck that. You open for Russell Peters. Everyone loves you. <laughs> fucking Miss LA, Vancouver, all over the fucking place. <laughs> <laughs> I really like your weird ass Sean the Gomber impersonation. Yeah, does this angry. Oh, my Sean God. Angry yeah. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. Like, Oh, that's <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. It's so, so funny. Watch that. Yeah, watch and that. that. <laughs> and listen to that. <laughs> uh, you can find me at Yeg Stand Up or at Kersey on Instagram. And that's where we post shows and stuff, such as Station, uh, Station on Jasper every Wednesday at 7 o'clock. Yeah, except Christmas. Except Christmas. Is, w- is Christmas Day on a Wednesday? Yeah. Oh, exciting. And then New Year's Day also falls on a Wednesday. So that always happens. Yeah. Because it's seven days after Christmas. Yeah. So we're like. <laughs> <laughs> His fucking science, bro. <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Buy a calendar, dog. <laughs> I'm still just sad about it. <laughs> Even on leap years, it happens. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Next year's a leap year. Ooh. How exciting. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to end <laughs> this. <laughs> 2020. <laughs> All right. Enjoy the rest of your lives. Later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>